Okay, so here's a simple way to get 10, 20,000 volts thereabouts out of a single microwave oven transformer and including ballast and um, some form of current control. Um, so the basic idea is um, we've got a 10,000 watt um, motor speed controller, your standard microwave oven transformer, a couple of um, uh, non-polarized capacitors, 20 microfarads each for a total of 40 microfarads. These act as the ballast. So this thing has a um, trailing edge. Um, uh, it's a trailing edge dimmer, so meaning when the waveform goes up, it um, turns on at the trailing edge and then does the last part of the waveform, which is important for how this works. So basically, um, when that turns on, it creates a big spike through these capacitors into the transformer which then puts out a much higher voltage than it normally would. So with much further ado, let's turn it on. I'll have it turned down, turn it on. So nothing so far. So we turn it up until, and then we turn it back and there we go. And we got ourselves a high voltage arc. So if we then turn it off, and back on again, it shows that um, that arc isn't just being maintained, you, you know, by its heat, but it's actually, um, you know, we're, we're actually getting a very high voltage there. Now the spark gap is about eight millimeters, uh, about nine millimeters. Um, which works out to anywhere between 10 to 30,000 volts, depending on humidity and what you read. Um, so I don't have a way of exactly me measuring it. But effectively, this replaces um, um, a whole bunch of microwave oven transformers in series and an extra microwave oven transformer for a ballast. And with these capac capacitors, just by changing the capacitors, you change the ballast. And um, of course, you can um, adjust this too to give you some, you know, control over the um, current voltage. I'm not certain how it works because I don't have a um, um, probe to measure that properly, but yeah, um, I see that most people, when they're, um, doing a, um, a Tesla coil power supply or something like that, they're using multiple microwave oven transformers and whatnot dipped in oil, and this one should also be dipped in oil, considering the very high voltages that are coming out of it, but it seems to be doing it okay for now but yes um, ultimately this would be dipped in oil in in its final application but anyway um, this uh, setup is cheap simple easy and um, more economical easier less bulky and um, more versatile than um, the traditional approach of um, using multiple microwave oven transformers in series and um, one as a ballast or some kind of, kind of inductor as a ballast. Again, you'd have to change out inductors, large inductors to change the uh, current, whereas here you just change the capacitors over. Um, you do need to use um, you know, like a 10,000 watt motor speed dimmer because the very high uh, peak currents from the capacitors um, destroy anything less. Um, and I've even had a six kilowatt one um, get destroyed by this kind of circuit. 
Um, of course, you can also put these in series for more voltage. And you can use the same circuit for car coils as well to get phenomenally high voltages out of car coils in on the order of 150 kilovolts or more. But you have to um, very thoroughly insulate the car coil um, by um, putting a tube over the central post, filling it va with Vaseline and then putting um, another clear plastic tube around the center um, uh, wire coming out and you know, everything has got to be filled with Vaseline. But if you do that, if you don't do that, the the um, um, voltage just jumps from the inside of the um, top connection to the sides. So if you you know put a post on the top and fill it up with Vaseline, then that stops um, the voltage from jumping over. But you do need a very good car coil for that. Anyway, there you go. A very simple little circuit to replace what um, a very complicated and bulky one that most people use for their uh, Tesla coils. And I'm hoping some people see this at least and um, um, maybe spread the news and um, hopefully in future we'll see people using this much simpler circuit for their power supplies for their various mad scientist high voltage experiments anyway mad scientist signing off have a good one